Perhaps it's true that many people nowadays share a passion for beautiful interior design. But after putting in the initial effort to spruce up their homes, many of us grow complacent and stop making any further changes. Making even small adjustments to one's home's design can spark the inspiration to try something new. Bringing the outside inside might begin with as little as a few seasonal decorations. Similar to how the change of seasons lifts our spirits and provides welcome diversity, making a few minor adjustments can have a profound impact on one's outlook and productivity. I've been utilizing these items year after year, so I made sure to pack them all away. All I do with them is experiment with new ways to adorn the house. Taking a walk in the morning or evening is a great low maintenance activity that can help you keep in shape. If I push myself to go for a walk even when I don't feel like it, I often find that my mood improves and what was once a dull day becomes something to look forward to. A little stroll outside or even just around the town may do wonders for your mood and spirits. What are some peaceful activities you enjoy doing by yourself to escape from your daily routine and job life? There are in my opinion a ton of things we can do to bring serenity and joy into our lives from tidying up the little nooks of our houses to trying a new cuisine. Have you given any thought to making a miniature garden for yourself? It's the easiest and most rewarding activity to pursue after all. We can all start taking care of these green living things whether or not we have the necessary room. Starting from caring for one plant in the corner of your room to creating a mini garden in a flat that you live in. I call this my tiny garden paradise since it keeps my mind and eyes off the regular hustle and bustle of life, especially the internet world. As one can learn over time, taking up this activity is not extremely difficult. You can start with any number of forgiving plants, from the simple pothos to the snake plant. I enjoy adding small stones to my decorations to make the home's interiors even more aesthetically pleasing. Together again When we're together again When we're together again Most of us treat cooking and baking as routine, 
so i know a lot of you won't qualify it as a hobby if we make an attempt to do something different it can become one like a craft or a creative process when we try out a new recipe with some direction and the end result is in sight we feel ecstatic and overjoyed i've been perfecting these buns for a while now and even though they always turn out a little wonky i still love them <laughs> There's no need for me to give this a shot at home but I could always treat it like a hobby and give it a shot occasionally just to see what it's like to make something unusual or that I normally wouldn't bother with It's not a flashy pastime or a hobby but it pays off in spades After a thorough kneading I let my dough rest It will take another period of rest once they've been rolled to size before they can be baked. This recipe always seems to turn out differently every time I make it. <laughs> Please let me know in the comments if you want the recipe and would like me to discuss this in detail. Inside yourself when you have all of the world inside. One, two, three, four. Even while it might not technically qualify as a hobby. Showing kindness by caring for others and by sharing really takes time. If you start setting aside time each day to be nice, the joy may be immeasurable. Our actions can make a difference in many ways. Starting with something as straightforward as setting up out a dish of water for all the nearby birds and squirrels. Fill this up occasionally. Sending a supportive note or message to someone you care about is another thing I enjoy doing. A thoughtful message can make someone smile or even completely shift their mood. The daily dose of inspiration we get from Instagram stories and WhatsApp is great, but nothing compares to the impact of a personal positive message from someone we know. when you yeah, all of the world is wild yourself when you yeah, all of the world is wild mindfully select a few items from your home that may be of use to someone else i know we all have an emotional attachment to our possessions but if they aren't being used to their fullest potential it would be wiser to help someone who could use them more effectively take breaks and spend some time alone this may sound overly simple or apparent to some but it's something that many of us tend to overlook 
How many of us actually spend a moment in quiet without any music, TV or phone calls aside from the daily tasks that we all complete anyways? Just stay Take our time far behind Leave our Give our brains the break it needs whenever we can Take a break from your busy day to pray and reflect on the small miracles around you. Try to find some peace and quiet in your environment, around you. Maybe a candle flame will do the trick or maybe the yellow hues from the balcony lamp will look lovely against the black or the dark blue of the night. I'll be back next week but for now enjoy these lovely warm tones of nighttime lighting <laughs>